Stop sitting there struggling and not doing something. And then you over here failing because you don't want to ask for help. Ask for help. That's what. I focus on me. Hey guys, it's C. Welcome to my channel and welcome if you are new here. Today I want to do a, another life check with C video. Um, and I wanted to talk about help. And about asking for help. And about not being afraid to ask for help. Uh, it's been on my mind uh, a lot lately. And uh, me and Bay actually had a conversation about this. Um, as we were on our way to our uh, Charlotte trip. Um, but yeah, I I feel like, I'm going to just speak from my experience. I am the type of person where I like to do things on my own. I feel like if I've done X, Y, and Z by myself, then I should be able to do one, two, three by myself too. You know, um, and I feel like no matter what, I should be able to do it. I should be able to figure it out um, without any help, you know, or without asking for help. I'll say that. Um, I don't think, I really don't, I can't say where this came from, but I've always had that inner drive um, and inner belief that I can do whatever I put my mind to. And of course, I know that I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I already know all that. But I always felt like I can do it um and if nobody else helped me i'll be okay with that because it's going to get done any anyway and to a certain extent i still feel that way but i also believe that it takes a network it takes a, a group of people who are driven and who are focused and who are really wanting to go to the next level it takes people like that to help you get to that next level so you can't do everything on your own. Um, well, I won't even say you can't do. You can, but it'll be better if you had somebody helping you along the way. Um, I use myself as another example. Recently, y'all know that I want to grow this YouTube channel. Y'all know that one of my big goals is to become a full-time content creator. That's like one of my big, big life goals. And so one of my goals um, by September is to reach my 1,000 subscribers and to reach my 4,000 watch hours that I have to have to be monetized on this channel. And so I've been consistent, I've been uploading, um, I've been putting in the work, I've been filming, editing, promoting, uploading, um, uploading three times a week since January started. Like I feel like I've been doing the work and I see like growth just a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit at a time. And I know I have to be patient. Um, it does take patience. Um, but I feel like when I've done everything and I feel like I know how to do, then that's when I need to ask for help. And it took me a while to ask for help. Like recently, I um, sent out a text message to a few people and I asked them to create a post. Uh, on their own post to basically tell somebody about my channel tell somebody what they liked about my channel and then include the subscribe link um, at the bottom of their post so people can subscribe because if you don't really know a lot about social media and algorithm and stuff it seems to me that when you share a post which I appreciate every share every post that people have shared I appreciate that um, but when you share a post it doesn't get as much engagement as, as if you would um, create your own post and so that's why I asked people that and that helped me but it took it took a while for me to even send that text out and I still haven't sent it to a lot of people but I've sent it to a few people and they did do it um with the, the ones that I saw I know that they did it um and I appreciate them and it did help me like I did grow like I I, I think I gained about 20 subscribers from total from that and I appreciate that. That was um, great, you know. And I'm going to send it out again. But my point to you is, if you're trying to do something, if you have a YouTube channel, you're trying to grow it. Um, if you have a, a business and you're trying to grow your small business to a big business. Um, if you are working on a degree and you need somebody and, and you, you're trying to get through that but you're, you're struggling. Or if in your everyday life with certain like small things, it's okay to ask for help. It is okay to ask for help. Um, 
we can't do everything on our own and that's fine that that's not a sign of weakness that's not a sign of oh well i fail because i can't do it on my own not at all that's that's the furthest thing from the truth and that's the mindset that i have with certain things um and i had to get over that because it's just like just because i asked for help that doesn't mean that i couldn't do it or that doesn't mean that um that i failed it that that's not the case you know that is not the case and also we have to get over that mindset i know i have had the mindset of in the past i've wanted to do things on my own and then i also had the the thought of well i asked somebody for help and they didn't help me or um i asked some, somebody for help and they started helping me and then they fell through you know and it's just like so now i'm going to just stop asking for help because nobody's gonna come through for me like i can come through for me you know and that's that's the mindset that i had and still have a little bit you know i'm not even gonna sit here and lie to y'all i still do have that mindset a little bit but um we gotta get out of that we have to get out of that because i used to also think like i hate to ask somebody for something and then they hold that over my head and i don't know why that's like the automatic thought and automatic response of oh well it's gonna like let's say if i start my business and i ask somebody to help me um with my business but now in my mind i'm like well now that they helped me now they're gonna feel like hold it over my head like oh you wouldn't have that little business if it wasn't for me or you wouldn't have um you wouldn't have this much success if it wasn't for me so it's just like now you are living your life trying to pay somebody off or trying to get from under their umbrella get from under their shadow of if i didn't help you um you wouldn't be as far as you are and that is that is for the furthest thing from the truth as well because even if you do ask for help and you get help and somebody helps you if they do try to hold that over their head that can't be the case because if they didn't help you you would have got it from somewhere else but even when, with them helping you you still put in the work you made those designs you stayed up late you know at night trying to build your business you made the connections you Put in the work. You sent out the package. You did whatever you had to do to put in the work to make your business grow. So no, if it wasn't for them, because even though they helped you, if you didn't do anything else from there, if they helped you, if they put let's gave you um, an investment, if they helped you and you did nothing else, your business wouldn't grow. So it wasn't just because of them that it helped. No, you put in the work. So it's okay to ask somebody for help because I mean we do people out here do it all the time all these other businesses and big corporations and stuff they run off of investors they had to ask for help so we have to get out of that mindset of oh i don't want to ask help i'm going to do it on my own or or this self-made mentality like it's okay to ask for help it is okay you ain't self-made because god gave you that gift and that idea number one and he gave you the resources because he is the source he gave you the resources um to do that and so you're not self-made because you you got help from somebody you know, and so we got to get out of that mentality. We got to get out of the crabs in the barrel mentality where, oh, I can't share this information with somebody who's doing the same thing I'm doing because they're going to be better than me at it. There's room for everybody. I, told, I said that in, in my first video, first ever YouTube video, there's room for everybody out here and we can help each other and we can still grow. Now, I also want to talk about on the other end of that is if you do ask for help and they choose not to help you, you can't be offended by that because they chose not to help you can't be offended and or, or if they choose not to support you you can't be offended by that you know well, i can't say you can't be you can be whatever you want to be but i would say that it's not good to be because me and bae had this conversation and I, I i had a conversation i was talking to him about support and how both of us support everybody like we always support everybody and i feel like i'm always supporting somebody's business whenever i can even if if it's me buying stuff Y'all see my um black owned um playlist of where I support black owned businesses. I buy that stuff for my money. Like I, I want to support people and I want to shout them out. You know, um, uh, or if I share something, somebody's having an event and I see it, I'm gonna share it. And I, I told him that, you know, I felt some kind of way because it's like whenever I do something, I don't feel like I get the same support that I support that I give. And I've always had the problem in life of expecting me from other people. And I can't expect that. I can't expect that just because I supported you, you're going to support me back. I can't expect that because I shared your flyer, now you, you're you going to share mine. I can't expect that. And, and Bay told me, he, he was blown about it. And I've heard it before, but when he said it, I was like, yeah, you're right. He was like, you can't be offended because they don't owe you anything. And, and, and that's exactly true. Even though I did something for them, which I never do anything expecting something else in return. I never do that because 
I do it out of the kindness of my heart. I am just a very helpful person. Like helping people is my purpose in life. That I know that that's my purpose. Um, and so I I have joy from helping people. And so I never do anything with the thought of oh they they got to do it back, you know, or or I I support them so they better support me. I never do anything because of that. It's just it's just a hard truth and a hard pill to swallow to know that even though you supported somebody out the comments of their heart, they didn't support you back. You know, and it's it's okay because they don't owe you anything. But the bigger picture here is just because they didn't support you, that doesn't mean other people aren't supporting you. So you got to be happy and be grateful for the ones who are supporting you and pour into them because you can't be bitter and you can't be upset. Or you shouldn't be bitter and shouldn't be upset and living your life off of, oh, well, they didn't support me, so I'm not going to support them ever again. Like, you can't think like that. It's okay if they don't support you because at the end of the day, your gift is for who your gift is for. So if your gift doesn't resonate with them, that's okay. You know, if they don't want to support you or they don't, you know, agree with something or they don't like something that you have, even though you probably didn't like what they had, but you supported them anyway, you cannot be upset about it. Like, you can't let that be... You know your thought in life of oh well i'm just i'm not gonna support nobody else ever again because nobody supported me i'm not gonna ask nobody for help i'm not gonna reach out to nobody because this person didn't support me so now i know everybody else is gonna be the same way we can't think like that y'all we really cannot think like that and not, i know y'all probably like girl what are you talking about why why are you saying stuff and it's because it's been on my heart for a while it's just like let us go out here and network do what we gotta do and get the support that we need from the people who want to support us. If those people are not supporting you, people you felt like should support you, they're not supporting you, that's fine. Find somebody else who does, you know? And that's when you start building and you start networking and you start, you know, things will start growing and whatever because you're connected to the right people. You know, it's okay if, you know, those people that you expect, and even, even your friends. I was just watching the video before I started recording this. This girl was talking about, you know, starting a YouTube channel and what to expect when starting a YouTube channel. And she was like, one of her points was, you can't lean on your friends all the time to support you or to share your videos or to share your posts or whatever. You can't, you can't lean on them all the time. And that's, that's a, a, a big truth as well. Like, my friends support me, but I can't expect them to share every single one of my videos. I can't expect them to share everything that I post. You know, I can't expect them because sometimes, one, they may not understand it. One, they may not be interested in it. Just because they're my friend, that doesn't mean they're interested in fall candles. Like, I'm just naming a, a video title that I had. They may not be interested in fall candles, so if they don't share it. Why would I be upset about that? Just because they're my friend. Now, of course, friends do support each other, and my friends do support me, but I can't expect that, you know, from people. You can't expect things from people if they want to share it they do not a will that's why you have a target audience in a target market and a target a target person that just you're, you're targeting things towards because you get support from the people that you're targeting so it's okay if they don't but i i've already been talking for what about 12 minutes now and i just i don't know i just felt led to to say that like if you're out here and you're trying to grow something and whatever it is that you're trying to do one don't be afraid to ask for help two if they say if you do ask for help and they say no don't be bitter about it and three build a community that does support you and you continue to support other people continue to do things out of the kindness of your heart you know but realize who you're targeting realize that the right people are going to come along they're going to support you and it's gonna it's going to work for you but you got to be patient and that's what I'm learning. Like, I got to be patient. Patience has always been an issue for me. And I've been doing better about it. But I really got to be patient about this whole YouTube thing. But, you know, I just wanted to say that. I, I know y'all probably thinking, like, girl, where this video came from? <laughs> but I'm just here to encourage you. Ask for help. Ask for the help you need. Stop being prideful. Because I know that's, that stems from some of it. Stop being prideful. Ask for the help you need. And if the person that you ask for can't help you, go to the next person. But never stop asking for help if you need it. Because there's no need for you to sit here and struggle and sit here. Like I tell my students at, at school, stop sitting there struggling and not doing something. And then you over here failing because you don't want to ask for help. Ask for help. That's what I tell them all the time. That's what I get paid to do, to help you. So, or me or any other one of your teachers. Like, if you're in math class or you're in any class or you're whatever it is that you're trying to do and you're struggling, ask for help. Don't sit over there and sink or fail because you don't want to ask for help. Because what is, how is that helping you? 
You know what I'm saying? Like, don't struggle. So ask for help. If that person can't help you, move on to the next. It's on to the next at that point. Like, just move on. Because at the end of the day, you need the help. You're going to find the help you need. It may not be from who you think it may be from. could be from a complete stranger. But at the end of the day, you found the help that you needed so that you can keep going. So stop being afraid to ask for help. And stop being offended if you ask for help and they, they don't give it to you. Move on to the next. Because at the end of the day, you have a goal in mind. You have things to do. And sitting there being stubborn and prideful is not helping you. So ask for the help, friend. If you need help from me, ask me. <laughs> I'm going to help you as best as I can. Ask me, you know. But the whole point is stop. Stop sitting over there struggling for nothing. Ask for what you need. And the right person is going to come along and give you what you need. So that's my little spiel for today, y'all. So I'm going to go ahead and end this video so it's not too long. But... Thank y'all for watching. Let me know in the comments if this video helped you any um, or if you have any tips for anybody else that, that's struggling and may need some help. If you have tips, leave them down, down in the comments too. You know, let us all help each other. Y'all know that's uh, what I'm about. Making an impact, growing over perfection, and building a community where we can all help each other. So let us help each other out, okay? But until next time, thank y'all for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure you share this video with somebody who you think may need it. But I'm going to go ahead and sign off here today. But I'll see you all in my next video. I love y'all and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye guys.